Shut up and sit down. What's going on, guys? This is the MMA Complex. My name is Josh. And I'm James. And we're back. It's the 25th of October. August. 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 Damn, I don't know what <laughs> August. <laughs> it's, it's 25th of it's August. Season. It's a brand new episode. It's a Tuesday evening. Yeah. And we are good. We had some Thai food. Delicious. Banana Bay local restaurant over here in Southern California. And it's, uh, it's a tasty, tasty place. So, And then we got some beer, obviously, yeah. some Modelo. This Modelo. is a regular thing. This is what we do. The official um, beer of the UFC. <laughs> the official beer of the UFC, the official beer of the MMA Complex podcast. Yeah. Unofficial. Yeah. Unofficial. I'd be mean, badass if it was official. Yeah. Right. Free beer and get Shit. paid. Um, oh, no. Everything's good, man. Uh, temperature's gone down. It's not so hot anymore. It's in the, what, low 90s? Yeah. I mean, compared to what it was. Yeah. I remember this, it was this time last week. I felt like I was like being covered with a blanket. Yeah, it was. It was bad. Nasty, nasty. And the other day it was humid and it was hot. Yeah. It was, oh, it was last it was time we ho- saw each other. Yeah, it was yeah. horrible. It but was you know, um, usually summers fucking suck in, here in LA, but this summer hasn't been bad. I think I think this month has been yeah. the worst. Yeah, this is the but first over- month where it's hot. Yeah, overall hasn't been bad at no, all. It's been a really chill. It's been a really nice summer. Nice summer, mostly in the seventies, eighties. And I'm the kind of person that rather be cold than hot, so yeah. I always read the summer. But yeah. it's been really, really good. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, today, no, today was chill and just went out. Almost it's comfortable ate, outside. Yeah, almost died out in the front yard. Coming up into the house, we we're watering the the you know the sidewalk area. Yeah. It, it was just oh man, I almost ate it. And you have a bad knee, so yeah, a bad knee. It almost made it worse. Yeah, I'll never Probably forget. Do it out again. I don't know. Almost. <clears throat> the year we were going to go to the New Year's yeah. party, and your knee locked. Yeah, and we we're stuck at your house for a couple hours, and yeah. we, we we did make it to the the countdown. Yeah, did we? Oh no, we no, 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 no. We, we were did? driving, and it hit midnight. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it was a uh, what year was that? Two thousand ten? No, eleven. Two thousand eleven. Something like that. Something like going that. into twelve. I yeah. think. Maybe. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think that was it. I think eleven going into twelve. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, we're we're hanging out at the house. Get we're, yeah, we're on the kitchen table, and then my my uh, my knee locked, locked up, mm-hmm. and I already had been having kind of knee issues here and there. And really, it's just the the muscles in that leg, the left leg right here, are a little bit were a little bit weak at the time, and I'm getting better now. Um, but man, oh, that was so painful. I was how long were we there? How long was I in that? At least two, three hours, two three was hours. Was that long? Yeah, because it was like nine or eight o'clock. No. And we didn't leave till like eleven forty five because yeah. we missed it. We were driving to the party. It hit midnight. I said, yeah. "Okay, well, happy New Year, Josh." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bad. My it was in a bent position, just like this. Yeah, for two and a half hours, probably. At least, yeah. At I, least? I remember you couldn't get up, and so you sat down, and yeah, and, and I was just, I was like rocking back and forth. Yeah, it was freaking like I was. I remember like a little movement here yeah. and there, and it was like. <gasps> Like it was painful. Like, it was just like yeah. stuck. But um, hey, some of those parties are pretty fun. Yeah, some of those parties are cool. That party in particular was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I think I, I do remember. This was a house party, but it was you know good times. Remember that mansion house party you went to? They had like an empty pool. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. And then that one party that? up in the winter. Up in the winter, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went to another party. Remember with uh, Steve? Uh, and then we, I just remember going to like. Get tacos at some place like a taco truck. Uh-huh. They went to a party and I remember it was a two story house. And me and you went upstairs and we were trying to get into the rooms to try to like see what they have. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember dancing with, with some hot, no, she wasn't hot, but she was a cute chick. I was, yeah. I remember dancing with this chick yeah. downstairs. But I do remember we, we went upstairs and we went to one of the to rooms on, like, to try to see what they have. They're going like steal something, huh? yeah. You, you probably remember how it was like. I don't remember. Yeah. I do remember Steve was there. Steve, Steve. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he'll remember. No, I doubt he'll remember. But so that's, yeah, I do. Some that of those like, house parties are cool. Yeah, that party, yeah. That, that, that party always sticks in my mind. I don't know. I don't know why. And where was that? When? In LA? That was in LA, yeah. 
I remember it was like a yeah, it was a two story house. Damn, I, I guess because I because I, 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 I dance with like more than one hot chick, so <laughs> that's probably why it stands out in my mind. Uh-huh. I didn't get anything out of it, but yeah, I, I, I just remember I we were going out a lot and we we're going to like house parties and bars. Yeah, um, with the Whittier crew, like all the hipsters and all the yeah, like, the yeah, yeah people. And oh yeah, and um, those are kind of fun. Huh? Like, those are fun, especially like the the gigs at the tattoo shop. Yeah. And even some of their houses, like like some of the house house parties that we yeah. go to, because we were, we were pretty much cool with everybody. Yeah, it's crazy because I forget all of these things like until it gets brought up. I go, yeah. "Fuck, I did that." On. Oh yeah, I did do yeah. that. Yeah, that was fun. We were like in, we were like outsiders, but in the crew. Yeah, like everybody was cool with us. We even went to a fight where we were with, the, where we were with Johnny and them. We went to like, oh yeah, the, the yeah. Weigh-ins. I think we went the to weigh-ins, weigh-ins one yeah. time. Because I remember when Johnny was like, I think he stole. He's still, he's still like Shogun a, Brandon Vera, or was it? Was that? That was Shogun Brandon Vera, yeah. Yeah. And I remember Johnny and his buddy went to get beer, and they were stealing it. Remember? <laughs> yeah, because the the concession stand was like it was unlocked. Closed. And yeah. It was closed in that area. Yeah. And it, but it still had full stock beer and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so they would, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember those like those like art show parties that went yeah. with the other one. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, free yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah. We used to go. To, yeah, the girl I was dating. Yeah. 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 It's a fun time. Her art, her whole crew was art. They're all artsy. Her cousins were pretty legit artists, mm-hmm. and then they had a lot of cool, really cool, like downtown LA type of like artsy scene yeah, parties. Those dude. are cool. Mm-hmm. Those are really fun. Yeah, yeah. What a trip. Gallery parties. Those are those are really cool. Yeah. Um, I don't remember that two story house though. Yeah, that that party I always sticks remember, out. I vaguely remember going upstairs and looking for. Just roaming around and seeing what we could yeah. find up there, but I don't remember the yeah. house and where it was at yeah, and I, all that. I just it was it was like a re- it was really dark inside. Yeah, and yeah, I just really dancing with a couple of chicks. That that New Year's party was cool. I, I don't. How do we even? Do we I know somebody know. there? I don't. Remember. I, don't I, know, know, I did. I, I know don't somebody know. there. I don't remember how we got invited. I don't remember how we got invited. Was it either. Steph? Stephanie? Was it Steph? Big tit Stephanie? Maybe I don't know. No, no, the girl that tattoo, the one that, that kind of co-owned the, the the shirt company, Helen Highwater. Oh, damn, I forgot about her. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was good, man. Yeah, she, <laughs> she was. was good. Yeah, she. Oh, do you, she? She got You don't Facebook anymore, do you? No, I have nothing anymore. Fuck. You remember yeah. her name? I got banned. <laughs> <laughs> damn, I remember. I wow, I forgot completely. Forgot about that one. Yeah, no, she was good. Yeah. Dude, and then her friend with the, when we had like an Alice in Wonderland tattoo, yeah. she had like purple hair. Oh god, that chick was my favorite. Oh damn, we have to go. We have to go, go on Facebook. Do a little. Yeah, we, we need to. Yeah, I want to remember. I that. completely forgot about. Yeah, dude. I wonder if she's still friends with some of those people. Because I have, we have, I have some of those people on Facebook. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Crazy. Huh? Yeah, we're being very vague for the listeners right now, but. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, we're sorry. We're not, we're, I mean, we're reminiscing, but I don't want to like, we're not like hashing out details, you know what I'm saying? No. Like, was, I mean, it happened years ago. Happened years probably ago. Meet, I probably like, meet too some girls. This is <laughs> <laughs> 2011-ish, 2012-ish. Yeah. I, I, think, I think another part that stands out is when we got invited to the MMA, like, kind of party. When they invited us to that barbecue, oh, and we kind of snuck in. Yeah. We, we snuck into that one party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we went to a company party. It was like a website sports company party by a mutual friend of ours. Yeah. And then we we went we went from there, which was cool company party to yeah free tacos and beer. Went with some some bar. people from that party over to some roaming around the streets and to some local house party. It was, it was just like well, I think, the I think we kind of left the people. And me and you went on our own. Oh, we did, huh? Yeah. I mean, they were going to a bar, huh? Yeah. And, and we, we took went off, on our own. And then we went to some, like... We went to some random house party. We, just, we just walked we in. Didn't know. <laughs> 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 like, we didn't yeah. uh, We were always smoking weed with those chicks in the van. Yeah. No, so yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, they were hot. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Like our plan was just to take advantage, full advantage of them. It's totally me too. Full advantage of the situation. But <laughs> I think, wasn't there a guy there? I don't. I think there was, was a guy there. Okay, but there was two smoking. girls. There was two girls, and then there was a guy. Like there. a band, right? He was smoking yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was crazy though. Yeah, we went to the house party and then smoked. Yeah, went smoking with the. Damn, they were hot. All those girls at the party were hot. 
All of them. Majority of them. Yeah. They're fun times, man. Yeah. They're so much fun. Like, everyone yeah. having a blast. Like, yeah. all those parties were awesome. We, yeah. we, had, we did some partying in our days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. There's some good ones afterwards, too. There's some, like, uh, throughout the years, there's been here yeah. and there, it's been good ones. Damn. Yeah, those are, those are crazy times. Yeah. It's fun. It's I'll never go back and do it again. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, yeah. I mean, I, I was, I'm content with how I'm happy with a lot, how a lot of them turned out. Like nothing turned out bad or anything like that. But it's like, they're yeah, fun. Yeah. I wonder how I would, if you were to go back to the time when we were hitting up the bar scene over in, over here in our in Whittier area, our local town, area. and the and in this area, there's nothing but a lot of hipsters and. A lot of rockabilly and a lot of like young kids. This is like the the early. I mean, we were fairly young, but this we is, weren't we weren't that. Young. Yeah, we we're kind of. We're this the is outsiders. Almost, this is almost ten years, more than ten years ago. Yeah. Almost ten years ago. So yeah. we're the oldest ki- uh, kids in the crowd for yeah. sure. Are we that as I was? Because I was in the mid twenties. You were like in like just late twenties, late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, you're hitting. Yeah, you're about to hit thirty ish. Yeah. You know, and then um. Everybody else was like t- my age, which was around or, or twenty-five younger. or younger, mm-hmm. and um, that was like the rise, the beginning of the rise of the hipsters. Yeah, that was the rise of the hipster kind of movement. Mm-hmm. This whole like, yeah, hey, but they kind of, they kind of changed culture in a lot of ways. I mean, yeah, if you think about it because everybody's eating healthy, healthy. A lot of the the grass fed. I'm, I'm one of them, man. Yeah, we 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 always <laughs> we used to knock that kind of like. Yeah, all the you time. Know, remember uh, uh Lance? Lance, you remember Lance? <laughs> yeah. Which Lance is a cool fun he's, he's a, a cool guy. guy, but he is like he's, a, he's quirky. He was an outsider that really wanted to be in the inside. In yeah. that, that culture. He's like one of those of kids that hung out by himself, probably and played cards yeah, like, by himself and he, he found yeah. a, a group of guys. But he wanted he really wanted to be like us, we were we were content with being on the outside, but we just wanted to have fun here and there. Yeah, have he some wanted he wanted to be in He wanted to be accepted by the he group. He wanted to be in the group. Yeah. Um but the whole scene, that whole scene was like just hipsters and rockabillies and rockers. But oh, that was a start of the hipster movement. Craft beers, grass fed beef and Free yeah, range eggs and all that shit. You yeah, know, like, free with uh, butter and eat chippies. Almond milk type of stuff. That mm-hmm. was like the start of it. Yeah. Um, and I felt like we saw that. We were at the, that time. We were there to like really see the... The change. The change. Yeah, because before we just drink shitty beer. And I remember like at um, Phoenix, right? That's what's called yeah, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, that was a... Yeah. Like, I, it was the first time I ever heard of like blueberry beer. Or like, yeah, yeah. Or, like an upstart started- beer. Really, craft beer really took hold. Was around that time, and yeah, this obscure flavored beers mm-hmm. and fruit beers. I didn't know that they ever existed. Yeah, and then the, that place was cool. Um, the owner was cool. Uh, Ky- Kyle, right? Yeah, Kyle unfortunately passed away from cancer. Two hot daughters, gorgeous fucking daughters. Um, but really, one, really cool guy. Yeah, man. super nice guy. Even when we see him on the street, he would like he say what's up. up and, yeah. Really cool. We would, like he would let us drink there for free. Yeah, and then that place was chill because it had the bar, it had all this young hipster rock rocker type crowd, and then they had bands every yeah, weekend. Lo- yeah, local bands. Yeah, local bands every. That's weekend. how we went. Mm-hmm. That's how we went. Yeah, and um, that scene was cool, and it was we were more of the rocker type, and the the dominant culture there was hipster. Yeah. And it was like a different new, type of rock. Yeah, it was different. Yeah, it was more indie. Obviously, the indie type of rock. Yeah, really. Yeah, the girls really, only oh. wanted to really. Girls are hot. <laughs> girls are so hot. That's that's why I I, I see it around. Oh man, that was the same. And and they were, this is like, I mean quality, right? Yeah. They, 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 what do you produce some? Yeah. Quality. Quality. Yeah. Uh, American Pie Girl. I, she's 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 letting me do other shit to her. <laughs> <laughs> quality shit quality on a regular basis it's yeah. like that's why he went as and I it was just cool man it, we was just like I smoke cigarettes or like or pissing, yeah, could, pissing yeah, the street yeah. But, uh, <laughs> like, I, I think we at least took a leak here and there yeah. on the street and we went to some house, house parties house parties like around the area yeah that house was so much fun yeah so much fun I remember I was I was 
talking. I was the the little the um, who was there? I remember I was talking to a girl. Oh, and I like take one for the team with the, like with the big friend. Her? No, was it that one? No, no, it wasn't that one. The one that worked at, at um at Denny's at um at the pizza place. They gave the they gave it right to you? at um. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the one that. <laughs> You know, you know that pizza place that, that Shaq owns? Shaq owns? He, uh, fuck, what's that called? It's, a, it's still there. The brick one? No, no, it's, it's a franchise. Papa John's? Yeah. She's working oh. at Papa John's. The redhead. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Is that right there? Fucking... No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. But that one was bomb. That was like... Oh, yeah, she was good. Oh. Yeah. There's so many, so, so much many. to choose from, but uh, but um, no, there there, there was one time. This is just a story, is a random story, but I remember there was a. It might have been one of the nights I was there by myself. I don't remember. No, no, no. There was yeah, it might have been, and then I was one of my high school people that I knew was there, and then her friend, and her friend was hot, and then a cook, this black dude, from from the neighboring like from that rush or i don't know what pizza place it might have been a pizza place i don't know something like that and then he had the keys to the 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 restaurant that's next to the tattoo shop at the end of the the block right there at the end of that little block at the corner it's like a dance hall type of thing okay yeah he had the like, key kind of by the hookup, the hookup bar yeah he had the keys to it and we he turned on the stereo was, and everybody just hung out and he, he made he cooked alcohol like it was it was chill man i remember like i was drunk as fuck i remember I ate almost ate i fell in the street almost like it was just like this is a lot of good times <laughs> i don't know it's just like yeah. a lot of cool, so, like, lot of cool times. times man even the house parties that we went with your brother and there, like, the halloween party they yeah, went to. yeah so much fun yeah yeah and even at the tattoo shop we used to hang out at a tattoo shop a lot um and yeah, they would still have relationships with, with some of the guys yeah and then we still have Good relationship with some of the people. Mm-hmm. Um, and everybody got a tattoo by one of them. So yeah, and it was a, recently, yeah. and it was a, just a cool vibe. Just go there and just go to the back and watch Netflix, which was barely kind of kicking off around that time. Yeah, remember? that's right. Yeah, we go in the back. Yeah, we go in the back. Like what? no permission needed. We we're uh, like yeah, like say a, what's like up a to worker. Everybody. Um, Get food. Renee, who was a you know like a I miss oh, Renee man. He was cool. He, he was, was so always cool. welcoming. And yeah, always welcoming. I always felt. More comfortable being there when he, when he was, was there, there. yeah, because he was always like he was Patty's brother, yeah. So he, yeah, yeah he died. That's he died I, of cancer. It's, huh? it's crazy because uh, I had talked to him like a few weeks before he, or before he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember we went to go see him at his house one time or his apartment. Oh, yeah, for the X Men comics. Every time I passed by there, I was like, I was like, think of him because yeah. he, he lives right there. It's right off yeah. one of the main. Because he gave some of the X Men comics, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah, good times. Yeah, he was always he was cool, man. I always yeah. like always wanted him to make sure he was there a lot of time because I always felt more comfortable when yeah. he was there. Because we yeah. were cool with everybody, we we could have easily walked in. Yeah, but he but was he he made his his way to talk to us and be, yeah, make us feel comfortable because everybody there was either working or they were like, you know, they're just moving around and walking and hanging out. And they were like friends of them, and we were cool with the people there. But when Renee was there, he made it a point to make us feel welcome, make us feel welcome, and hang out with us, mm-hmm. and like kick it with us while we were there. Whereas yeah. other people were just didn't mind us being there, but were hanging out with themselves almost yeah. in a way, and we we're just mingling. Because like we were, we were the Halloween party we went to when, when the shop next door, where Manny and his daughter Amelia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's another good one. That's another good one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I hooked up with her sister. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She has kids now, no? Allie. Uh, Allie, is that Does she have kids? Yeah. Amelia? Ah, it's all right. You got it. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the shop was cool when they used to have yeah. concerts. I mean, they have like... Yeah, like yeah. Gig. yeah that was yeah, fun. Uh, that, was that, was fun. fun. Oh, that was so much fun. That was, those are... Man. So much ass and so much... Beer. That was the more rocker, rockabilly scene. Yeah. Like, we didn't feel like so much outsiders in that scene. No. 
And they have like for a free the, beer. We yeah. go to the back and get it. It's like ice chest. Or yeah. Anything you want to get. Get something out of the ice chest. Yeah. And walk around. There's fucking girls everywhere. Yeah. Whew. And, and if, if, if you guys don't know, like, like um, the, the, where we live, it's Whittier, California, which is just outside of the downtown area. L.A. County. It's still L.A. County. Um, but it's a it's college. It's minutes, like, uh, east of downtown L.A. Yeah. And, and depending on how traffic is, probably even maybe 15, 20? Yeah. 20 minutes, maybe? Yeah. To get to the center of downtown. Yeah. Staples Center. Let's say going to Staples Center from here to Staples Center, 15, 20 minutes, no traffic. Tops, yeah. Um, I say 20 minutes more. But, um, but yeah, no, and, and it's a college town. Whittier College is like a private college. Richard, yeah, Richard college. Nixon went there, then Nixon go there. Um, who's the another? Shop? Who's another? <laughs> Brendan Schaub yeah. went there. Um, he's, I think he's talked about it on his podcast, having, uh, having gone there. Um, and, uh, and yeah, this is a college town and it very f- much felt like a college town and where we were partying and did a lot of our activity was around that scene. Mm. Remember, remember those girls that we went and hung out with? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. Remember when yeah, we went to the dorms? Yeah, we went to the dorms. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that all the oh, time. Man, I wish that, I wish that, if it, if any oh. of them could have turned out differently, I wish that one would have turned out differently. Yeah. Because mainly we just hung out with them. Yeah. But that would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. That's all right, boy. That blonde chick. <laughs> but it was cool. It was cool to be in that, like, the dorms and to really get to I see that. do that shit. Yeah. I can't really, like, we got invited to the dorms. Yeah. And we hung out with, like, fucking guys, fucking beautiful girls. Yeah. And just the, 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 the vibe of the town when it was, like, so at, its shit peak, that I at its peak, it's not like that anymore. There's not a, there's not a local spot where everybody hangs out like no. youngish age, you know, twenty five ish, twenty one. No, it's, it's a complete different town. It's, it's it's more family now. I'd say it is. I see all these families walking around up it's, and down the street. It's it's more family. A lot of restaurants. Because we have fr- friends at the at that bookstore. We yeah. see go down in the basement ah, and the bookstore. Comics, Rose, Rose, Rose right? at the bookstore. Yeah, yeah. We, that's where we. Do, would come up on comics. Yeah. Give us discounts and man, yeah. I would. I came up on some gems over there. For yeah, me. damn, that was fun too. That was all time. Yeah, that's good. Some of, damn, some of the girls that were through the bad books are god. Oh my god, dude. And, and I'm, I think I told you this already. That, that remember that the big the the big band, the local band. Oh yeah, with the seer. Yeah, he. I saw him. I told you I saw him recently. Yeah, I, I went hair, right? my haircut. Yeah, he walked in with. I mean. The hot, place. hottest girl I have seen in a long time. Like, I mean, no makeup, tall, blonde, seventy styled, like a fair faucet, just thick, and I mean, just like, mm. I don't, how, how still until this day? How is he doing? Because he's the front man of, of a and I, popular I asked, band. And I asked my barber, I'm like, how do, like, what is he doing now? Because I hadn't seen him for a long time, and he's like, oh, he works at a butcher shop. But the band's still kind of touring local scenes in here. There you go. But I'm like, damn, still pulling that. Huh? And he That's, looked the same. You know, he looked yeah. the same. Or even like the the seller. The seller. Seller's cool still. Yeah. But I mean, everything, everything really shut watching. down. Yeah, everything shut down now. But yeah, the oh yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's a college town. It's, it's the scene. It's still there. It's still cool. It's different. It's more family oriented now. But it used to be really, really cool back in the day. Ten years ish ago, yeah, it's cool, man. I, I'm, I'm glad I got experience all that because yeah. some good some good memories. I mean, yeah. a lot of shit that we just talked about, I forgot yeah. a lot until I go until I brought up. Let's talk about some fights. Yeah. So I mean, in terms of fights, which this is an MMA show, so let's get to some fights. Mm-hmm. Um, last weekend was pretty entertaining. You had Bellator having their event. Um, unfortunately for Ryan Bader, loses his title. He loses his light heavyweight title to uh, to Volkov. Is it Volkov? Yeah, Volkov. Mm-hmm. Um, and and man, what a, what a weekend! I mean, I thought I thought all the fights were good. I caught most of Bellator. Um, damn, Paramount Network is not easy. No, to get man. I can't I, watch I, Bellator. I tried to get the app on the TV. It was not easy. I didn't really. I I couldn't go to the other TV and try to get it there. Maybe on my Xbox. I'll try again there, but but it was super difficult, and then so I just kind of gave up and caught a stream, um, and then obviously the prelims I, we watched a little bit of those, but not yeah. not too much. Um, 
but yeah, man, it was it was a uh, it was it was a good weekend overall for fights. Bellator had their event. Um, you know, I think I think as far as Bellator is concerned, I'm sure they would have wanted Be- uh, Bryant Bader to keep the title, um, and with, especially because he has a name value. But but he had a title for a very long time. Yeah, and he's obviously still the heavyweight champ too. And I don't know; it's got to hurt your confidence in some ways to like know that you actually lost your title in the lower weight class. But yeah, you're the champion you're of the champion higher weight class. You're the higher weight class, and usually it's the other way around. The bigger guys are usually always able to dominate mm-hmm. the smaller guys. But I guess when it's that close in 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 weight, where you're gonna have, I think Bader came in around the two thirty range. Um, and but I think it was Vadim. I'm trying to get this guy's name. Man. Let me say, I don't know. I don't know. Like Maybe I feel like Galatoire should should do things differently. How so? I don't like the the whole the, the heavyweight championship is like it's they have one, but do they really have a division for it? I know, and I don't know if um I know Verdum's out there testing the waters for free agency. So one championship's calling to him. He can make some waves over in one championship and get a title and fight for them. Or if I was him, I'll do ba- I'll do Bellator. I yeah. think no, there's a there's a few heavyweights with some big names. You could get a rematch for, with a Fedor. You go Mitrione. You could go Bader. Yeah. You there's some guys over there with some name value that, that you can have th- four or five fights and uh, finish out your career as a champ, get paid, mm-hmm. and stay in the states. You know. I felt like I felt like Bellator has lost his steam a lot since the whole. Pandemic, pandemic they haven't yeah. like really been up in their game yeah it's very it's difficult and I'm, I'm i'm glad to see that they're at least putting on events yeah uh, but yeah i mean as far as the ufc is concerned and 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 who has more momentum oh the ufc by far has Ugh. way more momentum but uh vadim nemkov uh landing a sick right head kick as bader was circling to the you know to right into that kick and just like I'm surprised he didn't go out cold with that headshot because they landed it clean and right in the back of the head. Um, but h- held on, fought, tried to b- rally back, but really couldn't. Vadim was all over him and, and got the title. And Vadim's big, solid, muscle-bound dude. Mm. I don't know what kind of testing they're doing because you know he's got some pretty defined shoulders and I mean some. You know, I mean, I wouldn't count it out. Uh, if he's Russian, doing, doing something. And he's Russian. Mm. I mean, I'm not calling the guy, like, a cheat is nothing. He's not been popped for anything, but he's got a physique on him, and he's coming from Russia, and they know how to do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh, Bowser had their event. Overall, the card was okay. You know, you had some you had some decent people on there. You had, obviously, you had Roy Nelson losing, uh, Modevsky winning, John Salter sure, winning. He's still fighting. Yeah. Julia Budd in the, uh, in the co-main event picking up a win after her loss to um, Cyborg. And then you had uh, Roy Nelson. I think he's got, I don't know what kind of losing streak he's on. He's not on a good one for sure, but he's not getting knocked out cold. He's just, just getting outclassed, outworked at this age. The thing with, with Roy Nelson, he's never evolved as a fighter. He's the same Roy Nelson that we saw 10 years ago. He's 44. Why is he so fighting? And look at his his record lately has not been good, man. It's it's let's see, it's going back to twenty thirteen. He's won one, two, three, four, four fights. Going all the way back to twenty thirteen, he's lost four fights. He's won only four fights. And what's the trigger now for for his losing streak? He's five losses in a row. So he had five losses in a row, win one. Then he, he lost to Alexander Volkov and then beat Antonio Silva and then loses to Derek Lewis, defeats Jared Rolshaw, loses to Barnett, loses to Overeem, loses to Mark Hunt, beats Noguera, loses to Cormier, loses to Stipe. And this is back in 2013 when he started his real big losing streak. Um and lost five in a row. And he's lost, well, I don't know how many that's so I don't know how many fights that is out of the count, but what's his overall record? Twenty three and nineteen. Oof. And most of those nineteen losses have been fairly recent. At least a good ten of them. Yeah, well I keep fighting it just um, 
paycheck. I mean, he's 44. Well, I don't know. He's four. Why keep him still on the roster? That's a big thing. It's like he's 44 years old. He's lost five in a row. He's lost. He's only won like maybe three or four out of his last like 14 fights, 13 fights. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, why, why keep him on the roster? He's a name recognition. That's got to be it. That's it. I don't I, know what kind of paychecks he's getting. I would that's, that's, yeah, why, yeah. Like you own Piro. And he can't be that affordable. I mean, he's not that cheap. No. You know? So, yeah. uh, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get the, the logic. Yeah, five in a row. I, I, I didn't see anybody asking Scott Coker why keep him still on the roster after five in a row. Especially if you're paying money, like a big money for him. Yeah. And he's not he's not cheap so uh julia bud though picking up a win good she's, she's built man she's like freaking mm -hmm. alfa had a fight uh one championship of a fight last weekend uh yeah the contender series and then you had um this past weekend there's one tonight so one tonight contender, uh, contender tonight. series yeah. yes contender series yeah uh but yeah espn uh 15 munoz versus edgar was last saturday um overall the card was good i i Decent fights. None, none of them blew me away. Um, they're, they, yeah, they were entertaining. They're entertaining. Uh, but you got to go with the main event. So uh, Frankie Edgar defeats uh, Pedro Munoz by split decision. Mm. Did you agree with the decision? I did. I, mm. I, I think uh, Frankie Edgar did what Frankie Edgar always does. He landed on his feet, avoided big power shots, mm. and hit um, not with so much with, with power, but with volume. Yeah. And I, I agree. I think, I think he... He got hit with some big shots, mm -hmm. but for the most part was able to avoid them uh, as best as he could and majority of them and landed, I think, more combinations and was in and out yeah. throughout the fight. And he, was had, a, he was the aggressor in that fight. Yeah, uh, the, he was the aggressor. He had the better footwork. He had he more. Outpointed him. Yeah, he outpointed him. I felt he outpointed him. I thought it was close especially due to damage because Munoz was getting a lot of those leg kicks. He was landing a lot of them mm -hmm. and a lot of his shots were landing. But Frank Edgar is damage. Frank Edgar is a lot like Nate Diaz. He, he, he cuts cut easily. He has yeah. a lot of scar, scar tissue. Yeah. So he may, maybe get he may have hit. looked worse. Yeah. He looked worse than, than he really was but, hurt. But I felt like going, going to the, the decision, I thought it was close, but I was leaning more towards Frankie. Yeah. And I, I I think for people who said it was a robbery, even Munoz is kind of disputing the whole decision. I mean, I've seen way worse uh, calls. Yeah, it, it he was by far not as active as Frankie, and didn't I, I don't as think much. It was, yeah, like I like I actually agree with the call. Yeah, yeah, I agreed with it. I thought it was close, but Frankie definitely won. So the, Frankie, kudos to Frankie. Yeah, because we counted him out. Yeah, so did a lot of people. You know, and a lot of other people did because Munoz is no joke. He's number five in the division. I don't know where that puts Frankie and what what that really gets him. I wouldn't mind Frankie Dominic Cruz. I wouldn't mind Frankie. Who else is in that division? Signs? Um, no, so, no, Frankie Signs is not really. He's not doing too good right now. Uh, let's see who. Um, Cody. That's an interesting fight. Yeah. Um, either either Cody. Uh, you have uh, Cody Stum Stumman and and um, you have Cody Garbrandt. Um, but I think I like the Cruz fight, mm -hmm. Frankie and Cruz. That's a good one. Um, I think Frankie two veterans, three three uh, three weight class victories. You know, very short list that can say they've done that. I think Kenny Florian maybe. Um, 145, 145, 155. Yeah, um, high level and all. And at this point in his career, at his age, who he's thirty eight, and I mean it's this is last tour, man. His last. I remember Frankie. I remember, I, I remember ordering his debut. I remember ordering that. Uh, I think it was like Sean Shirk versus. It was a pen, no? It was a pen, and then Silva versus Marquardt. Yeah, and I think it was Frankie and Tyson Griffin. Yeah, on the prelims. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think they were both their, their yeah. debuts. And I and I ordered that fight because I was a big fan of Silva. That was probably my fit, one of my favorite fights on the card. Yeah, I remember the the poster was yellow and black. Yeah, yeah. That was just, that was, Frankie always been, he's always been that guy. Fuck, um, and we've seen his whole career. We've seen his entire career. Fuck. <laughs> so fucked up in so many yeah, ways. No, right. That's so fucked up. We've seen, we've, we've seen this guy's entire career. 
He's gonna retire soon. Frankie, Frankie Edgar's. I, I can't. Fuck. It's fucked up. Yeah, it is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First, we were missing about all the parties we had and all this. Yeah, and then, wow. now we realize how old we are, and 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 it's how long it's been, how long we've been covering this and following this yeah. fight game, and and maybe the average lifespan in the human is like what eight, eight years old or something, around eighty. In the U.S., eighty, so 80 70 something, right? something, eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Which means I'll be forty in um in March. Eighty so forty years left in this fucking earth, and yeah, we fucking die. If you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we're all lucky. Yeah. I mean, you never know. Like. Yeah, I know you're right. At least get to like a, a, a decent age. Yeah, and then and then be gone forever. Fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> God yeah. damn it. Yeah. But I mean, just to think that we, yeah, we there's certain guys like this who, and I can't think of some names, but. There's been multiple times already where certain guys have been retired. They're retiring, and we've seen their career at least unfold. E either we've known each other during that time, or we, or we've just been watching them on our. Machida is another one. Machida is another one. Yeah, Junior Dos Santos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kane. Kane. You can even go f further back where DC. Yeah, DC. We've seen. I seen, I've seen DC, DC's entire career. Yeah, I seen DC in the in the not the Strike big Force. show, Strike Force. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, the superstar show, or whatever. Yeah. But even like, I mean, even go with the, some of the Pride guys. Oh, Ronda. Ronda saw her entire career. We've gotten a chance to actually be at some of the highlights yeah. of her career. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and 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 even guys after like Uriah Faber retired. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've seen that guy's majority of that guy's career. I mean, even on my, even when I was younger, like high school, even maybe around high school age, end of high school, I was watching a lot of these or trying to watch them or finding them on YouTube and stuff like that. And mm. a lot of these guys were, they're retired, yeah. long retired, some of them. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, earlier we were talking about like seeing the beginning of craft beer or whatever. Like, yeah. We this whole women's evolution in, in MMA. Yeah, I mean, we fucking went to the first women's fight in the UFC. That's pretty incredible yeah. to say. Yeah, we, and and we were there in history, and we were not just we were there too. That especially that 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 fight, but we hung out with all the watching girls, watching it, and and getting together to watch some of Ronda's fights, Gina Carano's fights, like just watching a lot of those. A lot of the Ronda fights we've seen live. And enjoying them too. Like, you know, before before it got accepted in the MMA mm -hmm. world. You yeah. know what I mean? As a bit as a legitimate, you know, division, I guess. You know. Um I'll never forget when at the table center when Ronda went to the weigh ins for I think Shogun. And remember she got to create a close donor because she thought she was a fan, yeah. but she was a strike force champion. Yeah, we were we were yeah, there. We were there, and I, I no one knew who the fuck she was. Yeah, I don't know if we told the story before, but I think we were. What were we doing? Were we just in the wrong place? Or no, were we I, trying to get in, or, or I think we were. We're, or? I think we're, we're already. Well, obviously, we're already in the in the arena. Yeah, we were in the arena because we were going to the weigh-ins. Yeah, Ronda was right behind us, and she walked. I mean, she tried to get in, but they closed. It. We we knew who she was. We said hi to her, and like something happened because it has to be a, like a we took a picture. I remember that we had pictures with her yeah. and everything. She was, yeah, I, yeah. Something happened to where security didn't let her in. Security didn't let her in. I think she was already kind of making her name in Strike Force at this time. She had just defended her belt yeah, against she had, she uh, Alex her. Davis. Yeah, she was champion in Strike Force already. She has just started getting some name recognition, and then but only to the to the hardcore fans. Only to the hardcore fans. Because so the guys at Stable Center, the security at Stable Center didn't know who she was, and they wouldn't let her into the building. Yeah. Yeah. And we told the security, dude, yeah, that's, that's a strike for champion. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And then she was cool. This is what his... When they were on the strike force, when, when when any, strike force run. Yeah, it was before anybody like her first, she was. Her first, well, she just got the title. Her first, yeah. Yeah. And then I remember being in the elevator with Ronda and Machida, remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I remember we looked, yeah, looked at you. Or yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It was, it was, it was, who was it? Was it... Who was in the else in there? Was it just Ronda and Machida? I think so. I mean, I I feel like it was it was it Forrest? No, okay. Forrest Griffin. No. no, it had to be one more. It was it. It wasn't there Frank was Trigg else. or it wasn't Bruce Buffer. It was it was a th there was three people in there. Well, I think Frank Trigg and Bruce Buffer had a fight. Was it Shogun? Part. No, it wasn't Shogun. 
It was definitely Machida, definitely Ronda. Ronda had a, a friend there. Zenzai? Was it Marina? Marina Her yeah. friend Marina was in there. Yeah. Damn, somebody was in there. Shayna somebody Beasley. else was in there. Even Shayna Beasley we, that we hung out with. It's crazy. Yeah, I remember in the... <laughs> we, had, we have stories upon stories about stories our, our MMA. Stories. Yeah. People we hung out with over the years. Stories upon stories. Yeah, so, so much fucking memories. Damn, dude. Yeah. Uh, back to Frankie Edgar, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's again into that age where he's in. A, this is his final run, yeah. I think, in any division. Yeah. Um, and maybe he got a title shot. Maybe he won't. Uh, but mm -hmm. the guy's thirty eight, going on, you know, forty by the time he's gonna probably retire. And it's it's he's come a long way, and he's he hasn't slowed down. He's had some hiccups here and there, some yeah, some bad spots, but only as of recently, and then. Even his title losses, they were disappointing, I'm sure, to him. But you know, he still was was Frankie. You know, mm -hmm. always been Frankie. And, I mean, here has not skipped a beat. He looked good. So it was, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him and and in this division. There's some fun matchups for him to to go out on. Um, this weekend, you have obviously Dana White's Contender Series. You have Titan FC, LFA, KSW. And you have UFC on ESPN 16, uh, Smith versus Ratchik. This is most likely going to be a number one contender spot fight. Um, this is uh, whoever whoever's going. This person is going to fight Dominic Cruz. No, Dom, Dominic Reyes mm -hmm. and um, who the fuck is fighting? Who's he fighting? It's not OSP, but it's um, I don't know. Damn, who's he fighting? I don't remember. Okay. Um, but yeah. So th this is going to be that that kind of fight, number one contender fight. So um, let's see here. You have Alexa Grasso on the card. You have Ricardo Lamas on the card. You have um, Zach Cummings on the undercard. Alex Caceres on the undercard. Uh, Pollyanna Viana on the undercard. Emily Whitmire. It, it's a decent, fun under the radar type of card. Mm. Um, Neil Magny, Robbie Lawler, I completely forgot about it, in your co-main event. Um, oh, uh, Blackovich. Oh. Dominic Reyes versus Blackovich. This main event is going to probably fight the winner of that. Yeah, I agree, yeah. So, uh, Robbie Lawler, Neil Magny. Who do you have? I got Robbie Lawler. I got Robbie Lawler too. Yeah, I think it, I think at this. I haven't point, seen Neil Magny fight in a long time. It seems like it's been forever. Yeah, and I, he he's good. He's well rounded. He's always been good. I mean, he I think his last fight he had a victory. Mm. I've never seen it. Uh, Robbie Lawler has been up and down since losing his title. Yeah. Um, he had that little thing with Ben Askren. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm rooting for Robbie in this one. Yeah, me too. I want to see him kind of come back to mm -hmm. his form. I don't think he's lost it. No, me either. So, Anthony Smith versus Alexander Ratchik. It's going to be interesting. Ratchik's no joke. Or Ratchet. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. I think I think the 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 accuracy and the aggression of this guy. Mm -hmm. I, and Anthony Smith likes to get hit, and so but Anthony Smith's tough. He's hard to put away. He's got volume. Mm -hmm. He's an intelligent guy. Yeah, it's going to be hard, interesting yeah. to see. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be a fun fun main event. And that's our show. Trip down memory lane, man. Yeah. Dream show. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll catch you guys all next week. Uh, go follow us on social, Instagram, I mean, yeah, Twitter, awesome. all that stuff. Uh, make sure you guys comment, subscribe. Um, we'll catch you guys all next week. Enjoy the fights, guys.